Wow, Labour Party spokesperson Ndekato has said a lot about the simplicity of Mr. Peter Obi and sent a message across to Nigerians. Guys, in all her words, there is not any atom of insults like BDP and APC. Labour Party is an unstoppable movement and it has come to stay. Guys, watch the video and let us know your thoughts. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, is gone back home to meet his people, the people of Anambra State. And it was some very, very uh, cheering news for those who welcome him at our open rally today. Let's take a look at what this means for the Labour Party and the race generally. I'm being joined by one of the spokespersons of the Labour Party presidential campaign organization. Uh, Ms. Indicato joins me live here in Abuja. So thank you so much, Indy, for thank joining us. Thank you for us, having man. me. What does this homecoming mean? Onicha is particularly um, very personal to Mr. Obi. Of course. So what does this mean for him? I mean, this is interacting with your people, and it's, it's such a beautiful thing to see, to go home and have people who are that emotionally invested. I mean, there are candidates in this election that I know that they go back to their state. It's not going to be like this. This is, I mean, he has been to Anambra before. For him to have to come back again to Onisha, it means, and I, I see this on the campaign trail, people begging, please, we want you to come here. There is so much we want to do when you come here. And this is one of those incidents, because I had someone asking today, oh, why is he in Anambra again? But it is what it is, and you can see the reception, you can see an acceptance that this is our candidate. This is a son of the soil. We are super proud of this man and we're going all the way to support him. And that's what happened in Anambra today. Social media has been agog. So many pictures, so many videos. Everybody wants to show what they contributed to, to this outing in Anambra. And that is the thing we have. You know, when you have organic followership, people are doing with their own efforts. You don't have to wait. And you, you understand the political terrain of Nigeria where you have to mobilize and then these people will bring their separate uniforms. You know, you will see people with the different people they mobilize to come. But this is a gathering of people who know that this is happening and they're invested in this election. They want better leadership for Nigeria. They have seen that better leadership and there's no better place than home to show that, look, this man has led well. He has shown great example in Anambra. The people of Anambra people are endorsing him with these statements they are making on the street. They're endorsing him with this movement and they're showing that, look, we believe him. He has walked before and he's going to walk again. So this is, I mean, usually prophets are not admired at home, but this one, this one is loved at home and it's good to see. I mean, but what you just said, the, uh, the proverb is right that sometimes prophets are not... Uh, uh, well received or respected mm -hmm. at home. Uh, he has received a lot of opposition also from his from his state. I mean, from there's cri there yeah. been criticism, mm -hmm. and some for those who think that it's going to be a walk in the park, not only in an amber state but also in the, in the southeast region of the so country. What, what but we are seeing the past yeah. incident and. Uh, Comments from people from Anambra State, uh, some people, not everyone, some people definitely, have definitely shown that uh, it's not going to be as easy as your pa party think. So, I mean, we don't think that this is a walk in the park. I mean, just by campaigning, we see how difficult this is. Elections are not a joke at all. But what we are seeing is, is uh, the people against the political class. The political class in some of these spaces are used to a patronage system, a system where if you bow to it and do the right things according to that system, the system will make way for you. Everybody thinks that they are going to be the next one. It's not easy hoping that, you know what, one day it's going to be me, you know. My region is going to have a chance to produce a president and I'm meant to be the one. I have done this, I have done that. And then you see that one person has all of this organic love, all of this organic support. This is where we are seeing the pushback from. I mean, if you come to my place in Southern Kaduna, I can give you an example. We have the people on one side that are, you know, overwhelmingly supporting Pito Obi. And on the, on the other hand, you have the political class who are used to a certain political party. Many of these people have been employed since 1999 by a political party. Many of these people have made their money in one side of the political divide. It's very difficult for them to see a revolution happening, for them to see this whirlwind and this kind of change happening and then be a part of it. It's that fear, the fear of the unknown. Will this system that ha has benefited me for so long, this flawed system that I know is flawed, has benefited me for so long, how will it work with the kind of change that this man is bringing? And it's expected. But to say that, of course, that, that uh, to, to say that, you know, an Ambra state or many of the people in an Ambra state do not support Peter Obi, that is, that is, that is, that is not true. There are five states in uh, the southeast region and the, there are the tendency whenever you are having an election mm -hmm. of the advantage of your uh, of where you come from mm -hmm. 
Um, how much of benefit can Peter Obi get from the Southeast? Oh, we're seeing, and that's, this is a very good question. I was in the Southeast a couple of days ago, and in Imo State, for example, you know, on social media, we have people complaining, like, oh, we haven't seen your posters. We haven't seen your posters. You need to put more posters. You need to do... And I was in this village, and everybody, the one person that was not obedient in the village had to answer a lot of questions, because people are overwhelmingly supporting Peter Obi in these spaces, poster or not. And that is it. So one of the problems we used to have in the Southeast region was voter apathy. The Igbo man wants to face his business and just wants to be left peacefully to do these things, you know, not really invested in these elections. But we are seeing that there's an increased investment in what is happening in the country. And it's not like they were not interested before, but many believe that your votes will not count and all of those stories that go around. So we just want to mind our business and do things, you know. But when things start affecting you, insecurity, the, 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 the educational system, all of this is beginning to bite hard, even in spaces where there is a proper reward system for hard work. Even the Igbos are feeling it. So now they're putting their, their, their their, 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 their hands on the plow and deciding we're going to be part of this election. But it's not just being part of the election. They have found a credible candidate. Let's not make the mistake of saying that this is an Igbo candidate. No. This is a complete Nigerian candidate and who has said repeatedly that do not vote for me because of where I come from. But the good thing about it is that people from his region have experienced him before. And of all the leaders they have had, and the South is, is, is not, does not have, you know, is not short of leaders. They have had so many people come and go. And of all these many people who have come and go, this is one, come and gone. This is one man that we can put our trust in right. and we understand and Indy, so, yeah uh, you are too intelligent to 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 simply think that um um uh, this election is just going to be uh by what we see on the surface it's deeper than that of course now, it is. Uh, the, the, the question i like to ask you is um there is an advantage and there is a disadvantage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for peter obi uh, this could be a disadvantage and let me ask you the region where it comes from has the least voting population now not only, I mean, the illusion you made that Igbo people are commerce-oriented and perhaps they might want to face their business on the day of election. That was in the past, and, of course. But, but the, the question really is, there is a fear. Uh, analysts and scientists have uh, postulated that, look, there is a possibility of voter apathy in the Southeast region because of the phenomenon of sit at home, coupled with the least voting population block in the country. Is this not too much of a disadvantage? So, to a with respect to CETA, from what I've seen is a pushback recently. I've seen a pushback where conversations have been, there have, there have been attempts at conversations for telling people, people to not come out and vote, oh, sit at home, do not do this. And we have seen people pushing back. The South is saying that we're not going to do this um, in these elections. I've seen so many young people dedicate their own resources to ensure that people register to vote. You can see all of the complaints coming from the South if we went to collect our voters. This is, this is a movement that we haven't seen before. This is something that we haven't seen before. And what I always ask, is that you people from the media should at least recognize that something different is happening, Sheryl. And that's, that's is the, is the, is the, well, you, 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 that's the reason why you we speak, are invited, isn't it? You speak like you can't recognize we, that. Didn't we recognize the fact that there is usually a two <laughs> race the, and we have said that mm -hmm. it's more than two hours race of course why do now, politicians always blame the media <laughs> blame yourselves i will but, never allow same thing show, almost happened yesterday show, okay. i will never allow you guys blame okay the media so let's again. put it this way something <laughs> different is happening something different is happening we are seeing a sharp drop in voter apathy not just that people deciding they are going to vote they're putting so putting in so much effort you're seeing people reporting on social media on other spaces every avenue they have they, they, they progress in collecting their voters cards people are posting their voters we've not seen this kind of thing before especially in the South is now we may say they do not have the numbers but again Peter Obi is not an evil candidate you know? what good thing he has is that every politician needs every politician needs to have a base he has a strong base people are not indifferent about Peter Obi and that's the worst thing that can happen to a candidate I, I, I won't want to mention names but there are candidates that do not have a strong base you may hear of them on the national on, on the national scene but to go to a place where oh, oh in this space people are so emotionally invested in this yeah, and, 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 and that's, that's, you, you've touched on one area that and it's not just the south east the south south too I won't want us to escape yeah, that even in the south east mm. there are five states and mm -hmm. so when I talk about disadvantage there is a region that has seven states. Mm -hmm. There are other regions that have six states. South East has five states. Mm -hmm. Now, not only that, they have, the le they have the least voting population. Not only that, um, out of the five states, two are being controlled by the APC. The rest, uh, one is being controlled by APGA, and the two others are being controlled by the PDP. Now, uh, you look at your party, Labour Party, you cannot boast of one governor. I'm not sure you have any senator. Now, the question is, the practical aspect and the reality of politics is that when election comes, politics you need just a moment, to. you have people 
we will fight for you mm -hmm. right at the polling unit. Mm -hmm. Now, the big question is that not only that, you have people that will do the legwork for you. Uh, and this is what the PDP and the APC will boast of. This is what ABGA will boast of. They have one state. Now, what do you have in terms we of structure? We have the people, Sharon. We have the people. And I keep saying I need you to recognize this. <laughs> You're refusing to. We have the people. Today, I met, I met a gentleman this morning. I think his name is Beth. And, you know, just out of the blues, he told me he's a polling unit agent. This is a normal person. He has his job. He has what he's doing. What the political system is used to is people that they settle, you know. They oil this well-oiled machine to keep going. And what we are seeing now is that the everyday man wants to take upon this job of securing this country, securing the elections, making sure that the elections are delivered. And that's what we have on our side. The carpenter, the man who works in the bank, everybody is taking it upon themselves. And that's what we have. So the thing is, when we are having this conversation, we're having this conversation conversation in, I, I think that what has happened with Labour Party is that there's been a shift in the way things are happening. And we're actually dictating the tune of these elections. We have dictated so far. But what is happening is that that, that lack of recognition that a change is happening and a complete reliance on the, on the old way could of that, doing things, yeah, yeah. on the old way. Could, that, we keep could, hearing, that, could the steam that we are seeing mm -hmm. with the Labour Party, um, no one would deceive himself or herself that there is no movement. Uh, there is a movement there of is. a political party. Now, the question is whether or not that movement is enough to win an election now. The movement Do is, you think that the, move, the movement is that enough, it's to, enough to, to Of course it is. To germinate I think, into I think that winning we, we a make, national election. I think that we make so many steps forward, and these questions bring us back. We make so many steps forward, and what we keep seeing is, you know what, we can see the progress you are making on this platform, on this trail that you have blazed, that other people are looking on. Obviously, they do, they do not know how to get the same system that Labour Party has gotten. But each time we get questions, each time we are engaged, you know what, what happens? They want to take what has been created on this separate platform and fit it into the old order, into the old ways of doing things. Like, oh, you people are doing this right, but because it's not the way we are used to seeing. And that is why I'm calling that we should, we should yeah. adjust. Show, you know, adjust. You know, Show, I need you to adjust. It's to me that and you, realize you should that. be speaking to Nigerians. I'm speaking you should be talking to them, conversing for them. Uh, <laughs> for their vote. In the United States, uh, mm -hmm. there are more than two political parties. Of course. But in the general election, two political parties battle it on the field. The question is that in Nigeria, that you know what happened case. in 2014. That used to be the case till this tsunami. So, I mean, that uh, used to be the case till this tsunami. You know why? You know, you know, you know, you, you, have, you, you know, the you can't is, avoid sharing. Uh, Indy, let me tell you, mm -hmm. uh, you will wish that you were a journalist at this time. You know why? Why? This is going to be a very, very interesting election. And when an election is interesting, it's exciting for journalists to cover. And, you have, and I can't wait. You to, have us to thank for that. <laughs> you have us no show. You have Labour Party to thank for that. We can't wait. We'll wait to see how this all pan and i wish you and your political party the very best indicator